What is going on? In today's video, we're at Hay Dorm, New Jersey's oldest tuberculosis sanatorium. So overview on the hill over here, the building actually has balconies facing it. And the thing back then, treating tuberculosis was best for the patient to have a lot of fresh air. So they had a lot of balconies back here. Let's take a look inside. So as soon as you walk in, you can see documents, papers of the patients that were here. I'm not gonna show the name for this one, but you can see the date, 1925. So this opened up first in 1907. And as New Jersey's first tuberculosis hospital, they first treated the ones that had a chance that could be treatable I, for one, cannot even believe they left these kind of documents behind with people's names on them. Information, you would think like that would be stored away, somewhere safe. But when this place got abandoned, I believe in the late 70s, they just left everything the way it is. Now, since we are in the basement, I'll show you there is actually a morgue in here. It's so creepy. It's a rainy day, so it's full of water right now. This is right here is a freezer where they would actually store a body. Quite eerie being in this room. I think they still even have some soap left in here, which is kind of strange. The sink. walking out and come to the elevator you can actually see the detail of this elevator everything back then it had like a lot nicer everything today is so generic back then they actually had style then over here the foundation is broken up and it's kind of like a crawl space in here nothing going on so this building is on a hill so the basement where it's facing the hill you can actually walk out that's where we were before just the detail here just so different Let's change that one. This is really falling apart. So for this place being this old, it's very weathered. You have the windows and doors open, holes all around, water getting in, wind, everything's just deteriorating. Like you see the walkways, the hallways, they have all this dust, like it looks like a war zone, pretty much. There's actually a balcony right here. one of the many balconies they had patients come out here and rest and it does actually look quite lovely right now you got a lot of vegetation growing around vines they come during the springtime summer everything is just all leaves almost barely see out of it but I gotta say we picked one hell of a day to come here because it looks so creepy with this fog and rain It's actually starting to blossom right here. You can see the branch. It's all green. 
coming back to life. It's a lot of empty rooms mm -hmm. so far. Nothing much really. Oh, it's like an upper level. This place. chair just sitting right there still see there like wooden blinds whatever's left is like laying on the ground this one's got a couple things left behind check out this word dispenser like that is retro you know when it's got a writing like that it's gotta be old I actually do have a dumb waiter system Hold down. Nope. Seize it up. That's just so eerie. There's still a wheelchair here. Not just one. It's a little bit over here. Rocking chair. Yeah, people used to come out here, just relax, you know, breathe in for a share. That was the best medicine back then. So like in the beginning of the 20th century, tuberculosis was not really curable. So, they tried the best they could do curing patients here. This area still has a lot of seating left behind. I'm really digging that rocking chair. It's quite unique. Looks like one of a kind too, almost. This is the kind of thing that would spook the hell out of me if I came here by myself. And this thing started rocking by itself out of nowhere. For no reason, no wind. You see that rocking? I am out of here. I believe this place could be haunted. I don't know. There's a possibility. It is definitely really creepy and it's got a lot of history and yeah. We have reached the second level. A lot more deterioration. You yeah, actually see the attic. A lot of furniture left behind. Another one of those wars at dispensers. Sounds like antiques now. Second floor, L-shaped balcony. Do gotta say, quite a view. If only it was a clear day. So you kind of get a better look from this angle. Over here, it's really just two floors, a little attic. But when you get down there, where we were before, there's a basement area, and actually a third floor. Over here you got your dishwasher line. A hood and just laying here. Ventilation. Maybe, I don't know, freezer of some sort? Possibly. Strange looking. But check out this stove. The stove is so rusted out. Just so bad looking now. Check this out, this is where the dump meter is. They'll like bring it up and down. The food. So loud. <laughs> Makes sense. All these patients. It's a yes. quicker way to do it and then up and down the stairs. Oh my god, this is like so creepy. I don't know if you can see it. But like all the way in the back there, where the balcony is, you actually see like a little foggy. 
Is this what we were before? Oh no, we were not here yet. Oh wow, this one uh, is missing the ceiling. You see the attic. This balcony here is quite ironic because you know, it's meant to get fresh air, but you see the pipes up above covering in asbestos. Do not want to be breathing that in. The way it looks, the patient had their room here. Access to the balcony. And on the other side, the rest of the hospital. The only way to get up to the next floor is using these stairs. I completely don't even trust them. That is one hell of a drop. <laughs> yeah, that's gone. You can't even like get up to the third floor. Yeah, that's about to fall through. You can't even go up this way anymore. So there's actually still a third floor, but the stairs that go up them pretty much don't exist. So there's no really way of going up there. I remember last time I had this problem. That was here. And try finding a way up. Could not. Yeah, if you fall, like, you're hospitalized. And you're already in the hospital, so. <laughs> to me, I think this might actually be one of New Jersey's, wow, that made no sense. So that, I think might have been one of the most creepiest hospitals in New Jersey. That are abandoned. So we got to explore most of Hague dorm. We got the first floor, the second floor, the basement. Couldn't do the third floor. There was just no way of going up those stairs. Really sketchy. It's not even worth it. It's gonna be a mystery what's up there, but um thanks for watching this video to the end. Make sure to subscribe, go on adventures all the time. I try to go all the time. <laughs> Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this spot. Give this video a like helps me out a lot. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.